everybody, it's Billy the Crafty Floridian coming from you from sunny, ooh, sunny, uh, the Sunshine State. And it is so nice. I just got back in from going out and I was so tired. I didn't think I was going to make it, but I did. And I went and got my new seat pack. And um, that was easy peasy. So now I'm going to start using that. I got to get some distilled water. I don't have any distilled water. I'm going to start using the water chamber on it. They've been, they've really changed them since the one I got was like I don't know 20 years ago or so. So anyway, um, so anyway, I'm just you know uh, mulling along day by day. Thinking and thinking and thinking, creating and creating and creating. But first, let's let's start on some stuff. Um, I got I got a I got some some scare. Uh, I'm I'm tired, so I'm gonna be screwing up, screwing up my words. But I got a package from Karen Woodward, and she sent some squares. Nicely wrapped and everything. I need squares, guys. Come on, I need some squares. Right now, I don't care how many you send me. You can send me as many as you want. I need some squares. I need to, oh, these look like, look, she sent some Halloween or St. Patrick's Day, either one. Um, I'll divide them up. And then she said, some like for Christmas. And they're pretty. See, these are just nice. Are they pretty? Yeah. Make a little Christmas Christmas sweater with them. Aren't they pretty? And these, of course, this orange is my favorite color. But here are the orange ones. See, just even simple ones like this, just to, mem to uh, for those three holidays, if you haven't, um, if you haven't, um, if you're new, <laughs> or if you, even if you're old, old or new, I like old, come on, let's do old, even if you're new or old, um, I'm collecting squares to make, uh, Boggy Creek blankets, and, and I have specified three holidays, and that's Halloween, Christmas, and St. Patrick's Day. And you know the colors, you know, the normal, you know, for Christmas, red, white, and green, and uh, even blue, I think, is a Christmas color. And then Halloween, of course, is the oranges and uh, black and, you know, all kinds of things. So you can put little, little thing, you know, little, dec oh, there's this little fly that's fucking me. You probably said, God, Billy, you went crazy over the last three weeks. Yeah, I am crazy. <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy. So, anyway, but send, uh, uh, it's there to be six inches, and you can make them any, any way you want. I mean, as long as they're six inches. They don't have to just be granny squares. They could be all kinds of different, but as long as they're six inches. At this point, I did have uh, kind of too strict of a, you know, requirements. Now I'm six inches, and as long as they're six inches, I can put anything together. But those are the three holidays, and I've got a uh, a big tote bag over here filling it up. But I need more. I need more. It takes a lot to make a blanket. So let's get those coming in, girls. My address is in the description where you can mail them. I know. He's bothering the heck out of me. So thank you so much, Karen. I do appreciate it. I'll put your, I'll put your name down and put those in with the others. And I wanted to show you. Now I don't know if people put put their blankets together like I do, but I went through some more of my squares that I had received from you guys over the years. That I hadn't used yet, and then I went through. This, I had some leftovers from um, Lynn Ann, Nina's Nina's knots, 
and um, so I started putting another blanket together. Now what I do is I, I start with a square and then I just keep continuous and until I get it to the square, like then I mark this, let's see, this is the width. So I mark the width, that's as wide as it's gonna go. And in this one, see I got the two more. So this is my 35 inch. As you can see, it takes six, but I think it takes eight um, wide. So these are just miscellaneous ones that um, I picked up out of Leanne's batch. And some of them I took, and I might be, I took, they were too big, and I took a row off um, to make it smaller so it would fit on this. So, yeah, so um, it's working. So that one I've, I don't have any, Leanne is supposed to, or Nina is supposed to send me a box of more squares, but I haven't gotten them yet. But if you've got any miscellaneous squares hanging around you want to get rid of, send them to me. I'll put them on, um, put them on this. I think these are, they're miscellaneous sizes, but I think five inches. Five inches. Yeah, these are five inches. Okay, so that's, you know, I just sit there and just, Got that put together. Then I made some bags. Uh, these, this bag is from that um, Granny Square um, um, material, and it's, it's got its little pocket and everything. So this I've made, and it's ready to go out. And the same person that I made this for, um, she's getting the little um, cotton sweater. So I got those two ready, and I just need to, um, you know, ship those out to her. And then I was commissioned to do these tote bags. And this is, she sent me the material. Of course, I had some of this from way back. And then I put... Um, and I put a couple of pockets on each side, and I put a uh, a little small batting in it to make it nice and sturdy. So, yeah. So that's the first one that she wanted me to make. And then this is the second one. Of course, I love this fabric. And this is the second one I made. She sent me the fabric and... I put two pockets, one on each side for her. So that is done. And uh, so I need to get, I want to get these ready to ship out to her. And then I had a couple of cozies that I had put together and I just finished sewing them. But these are the little fold cozies. And then this is one side. And then you can flip it. It's reversible. And that's the other side. I have a lot of this material that has, you know, fruit and stuff like that on it. So I want to make, I went and ordered some more batting. So I am I made two of these. I like to sell them in pairs, but this is, these are already um, gifted. So I will be making some more. And if anybody's interested in any of them, let me know. Of course, I'll be happy to put some together for you. Um, so that was that. And that was that. Oh, now let me tell you what I did. Remember that one um, kind of a jacket, this, this thing here? Well, I didn't like it. Well, I, I finished that. That is still available if anybody is interested. And of course, the colors are, it's a peachy color and peachy pink or whatever it is. But I took this and I frogged all of the I frog I frogged it all. I lengthened it and then I did a different but let me I can wear this. Let me put this on for you. And it matches my pink dress. Oh. 
So I just went ahead and did a different that, and I wanted I wanted it longer in the back, and I did that in anyway. one. But anyway, it's a nice jacket. Of course, if I lived in the north, I would love this jacket. But here it is. If anybody's interested, I just redid it. And I really, look at this. It's just perfect. So if your size, I say 2, 3X, this will fit you perfectly. And maybe even a little larger. Because I'm a 3X. But, you know, 4X could get away with it. But, yeah, I like it so much better. And it is longer and I like the I just love this finish for for sweaters. So that is redone. <laughs> I'm just going through everything so I don't forget anything. Um I am I finished I'm working on that poncho. I know you've seen it in previous videos and it's because it's like a, a green, different shades of green, so it's a knitted poncho. Well, I finished one side because you have to knit 34 inches. 34 inches is takes time. So I have started the second side. So once I get that 34 inches done, it will be a finished project. Finished knitted project. So I will be glad to get that finished. And then, uh, since I haven't been feeling, I've been watching a lot of, uh, you know, summons through on the TV, different um, uh, creators um, that I've just never seen before. And I'm, you know, getting, uh, looking for new ideas and stuff. Well, I came across this, this, this top. I'm looking for like summer cotton kind of lightweight um, top. So I found this top and I really liked it. So I went to the tutorial and of course it's in, um, I think it's in uh, Hebrew or a language that I've never seen before. And if you try to do translate, it doesn't translate. So I had to follow her hands and her stitches. So, I mean, it's very, very simple. And I'm on the second half of it, but this is one side, and you, it's it's like you go, it goes like this, I think, like this, okay. But I just like the pat, I just like that airy look to it, or whatever it is. So then this, and then you, it has sleeves. Now I don't know if I'll be able to do. Um, maybe I could do short sleeves. I don't think I can do the three quarter sleeves on this because I've only got four of these and this is my third and it's, I love this cotton and the color is coral. Hobby Lobby does not stock this anymore. So I'm going to be playing chicken. So I know that this will finish the rest of the side. Then I can um, decide how much, oops, I should have put, you know, with all these, um, you know, these, um, what do you call them? <laughs> what do you call them? You know, the stitch markers. I got a hundred million of them. But, but do I have them when I need them? No. They're all over the place. And now I can't even find one. Oh, well. Anyway. So um, I watched how she did the sides last night. And she does add on to the sides. But I made mine wider. And hers is, a little, is a, for a small person. And she only did one she only did one of these. I did two to give it, um, to cover more of a shoulder than she did. So if I have any left, I can add to the bottom if I want to. 
But anyway, but it's a little crappie top. This is a little crappie top, and you could put it over. You know how you put a shirt on, and then you put a little something over top. You know, it's see through kind of thing. So um, anyway, so that I'm working on that. that. It's going very very fast. And it's just a matter of double crochets and skipping stuff like that. And then we put the little sleeves on it. But I had four of these. I thought, this will work. I'm sure it will work. She didn't give me the number of yards or whatever. But it's a crop top, you know. So I do have almost almost two. So I might, I think I'm going to make it. So I just work on that when I, something mindless. And then I'll pick up the um, the stitching. Now, the, let's see. People have asked um, have asked me about the this one that they want to make it, and if there was a good um, vi uh, video or uh, pattern. And the pattern that I've been using, uh, you can make, they're all over the place. Just Put in, uh, just put in YouTube, um, Granny Square. No, let's see, what would you put in here? Hexagon. Put in the Granny Square Hexagon sweater, and you'll see a million YouTube channels with tutorials. But I followed the Ophelia. That's her name, Ophelia. Um, that's the name of her channel. Ophelia Talks crochet and I like the way that she did the sleeves they're not real baggy all the way and she starts to taper them in which makes them I like much better also okay so that answers questions on that oh I forgot did I bring oh yeah okay people have been asking me about the the poncho that I was telling you about. I mean, this is a terrible picture, but that's the poncho. Okay, it's a knitted pattern, and the name of the the pattern is called Banked, B A N K E D Coles, C O A L S, and it's designed by Universal Yarn, and it's it's just so simple that it it takes forever. That's how simple it is. But uh, it's just, I mean, it's just two pagers. I don't know where I got it. I've had it since, I don't know, what's the date on here? I've had this pattern uh, two th since 2017. So that was, um, what, seven years ago that I printed this out. And I just saved it for when I got into knitting again. So that's the name of the... I will try. I'm not good about adding things to things, you know what, you know, to descriptions and stuff. But, but that's the, that's the uh, poncho, knitted poncho that I'm making. Now the other thing is, um, I saw this. It was it was in, it was a knitted, emotional support chicken. And I liked it, and I thought, well, what if they do it in a crochet one? Well, you know, I don't, I'm not as um, out there as a lot of a lot of these girls are, especially the girls in Zoom. They they are way ahead of me as far as finding things and all that stuff. But anyway, I found this emotional support chicken in crochet, and I made it, and I. Not only made it, but I've already given it away. The lady upstairs who had a stroke, well, she fell. She fell. And she did a terrible job. She scraped off the skin all over her arm. She had stitches in her hand, all bruised up, bruised on her eye. Anyway, she's just so emotional about it. So I made the chicken. Let me see. I don't know if I got a better picture. I think that's all. And the next day, my hands are so bad because it's all single crochet. Now, there's the chicken. 
That's the pattern of the chicken. Okay, and you make it in different colors. I picked all different colors, made each little each um, each one of those. You know, I must have had six. Well, I'll show. I'm gonna. Sh Do I bring my phone in with me? Yes. I was gonna show you. I took a picture of it. I don't know how to zip a picture in the thingamajig, and I don't want to learn really. That would make it so that I let's see. That's a picture of my. I'll tell you what I do and don't like about it. That's the one I made. Well, that's not it. That's my neighbor. Where's my chicken? Cluck, cluck, cluck. Where are you? Okay. That's my chicken. You can see I did some oranges and different colors. Somehow that tail didn't look up. It didn't fluff up like I wanted it to. Because look at, this is the side view. But I think it's maybe because I stuffed it too much. See? Almost looks like it's rock. Well, if I turn it this way, see, that's a good picture. Do you see how I used a lot of different colors? But I don't know. I think I'm not, I don't know. I wasn't going to make another one. And then I thought I have another friend that this would really, really help. And um, so and it takes a lot of stuff. And you, you can see in the picture all the stuffing I had there. Um on it. But I think it came out all right. It's just next time um, I tried to get her tail to fluff up, you know, but it wouldn't it wouldn't go up any further. So I think what it was, I used four weight. I think I would go and make a three weight one. I think a three weight one would be or the, make the tail in a three weight. And I used a small hook, whatever it recommended. Um, it recommended an F hook. I didn't do F. I did a G. And still, my hand was so swollen, so sore from doing all that single crocheting. And um, But it was easy to put together. But, you know, once you make something once, if you go back and do it the second time, it's so much easier. I might make another one. I just didn't like the way the tail came out. And sometimes I'm wondering, did I redo it? Did I did I do too many too many? But you do the I don't know. I'd have to do another one to decide. But it this was a paid for pattern. I think it was six dollars and fifty cents. Um and you really need it. <laughs> you really need it because there's a lot of slip stitching and going back and forth. I mean, it was just short short rows and then back. Anyway, so anyway, I enjoyed making it. I loved it when it was done. little disappointed in the tail. Um, but would I make it again? Most likely. And I might. And this is a good way to use up scraps that you have in a thingamajig. So, um, yeah. So, I I just like the different colors and I don't know. I just liked it. So, yeah. So, that's something that I did. And now my neighbor has it and she's going through a tough time. You know, the wound people come in and uh, and then it got infected. Oh, you know, just she just needed a little support. So, I made that for her. Okay, so I I can't think of it. I, I just bring everything in here, and then I have to take it all back out there. But I just wanted to let you know that I was still I'm still kicking. Um. Oh, and the the house uh, for uh, the October get together is full, and I'm so excited. And now I can start, or we can start. Um, you know, uh, making more plans um, for the week. 
and all that good stuff. So um, I'm getting ready to, um, there's like three deposits, I made the first deposit, and now I'm going to make the second deposit, and then and then we'll have the last, you know, towards the end. So that that's good. I, I'm ahead of the game. I'm feeling good about it. Um, I want to ride over and take a video of the house so people can see. I am going to call them and see when I can do a tour because I like to get, like I did before, I get the kind of the jive of what bedrooms are on what floors and all that good stuff. So we can get it, um, do assignments and all, well, assignments, but, you know, that kind of thing. Well, we did kind of do assignments. I did kind of do an assignment um, last year. So, I mean, the last time I did this. But I'm really excited. There's going to be some new people, some old people, uh, podcasters, subscribers. It's a mixture of the two. And um, I love planning these things. Um, it's fun. And I love coming up with, you know, what we're going to do next. And, uh, I mean, you know, what... I did a lot of research last time for the retreat on places to go and things to see. But that nobody was really interested in that. So um, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm going to play it by ear and have a, um, have a Q&A or, you know, question and thing on my jiggle after I go to the house and, um, and, and see – after I take a tour, and then we can do a, a little uh, Q&A on that. So, anyway, so what people want to do, don't, I just I just think it's a time just to kind of relax and, you know, do our crocheting and, you know, going out to lunch and dinner or whatever and going to the beach and just kind of taking it easy and doing what we want to do. Um I hate routine. You know, you come in and say, well, we're going to do this on Tuesday and this on Thursday and this on Friday. Just a couple of days, you know, we want to do the luau one night. And um, and then we'll see what else is going on and what people want to do. And that's how we get, uh, uh, we need the feedback from the other people that are going and see what their interests are. And, and, um, and maybe if they look up uh, Sarasota, you know, Google it and, things, you know, go Lido Beach and we'll be right there near uh, St. Armand's Circle and restaurants and stuff there. So um, anyway, that's what I'm doing. Um, what I'm, I got my new CPAC, so I got to get still work. I should have stopped, but I'm tired. But I wanted to get this video um, updated to you. And I can't think of anything else. Um, anything else that I have going on except just take one day at a time. Yeah, I don't have any words of wisdom <laughs> and all that good stuff. But just, uh, you know, keep keep doing what you're doing. Don't give up. Keep doing it. Um, I, um, I do Zoom with these other wonderful, beautiful ladies. And they are just doing all kinds of wonderful stuff. Um, I, I'm i not too involved in it because I just, I can't handle it, you know. I just, not much I can do like I used to, especially in the crochet world. <clears throat> I just, I just can't. So, um, but I, you know, I'm, I listen and hear what they're planning and things that they're doing. So that's, a lot of fun. Uh, what else is going on? Uh, it's just beautiful today. I mean, just beautiful. No, I mean, the pollen is absolutely horrible. It's terrible. Abby's in the window checking everything out. She heard me say her name. She's a mess. She's the messiest cat I've ever had. But she's so lovable. I tell you, she's so lovable. I love her to death. All right. Well, I'm going to um, 
get things ready to take a little nappy poo. And um, yeah, be kind, everyone. I don't know if you guys watch What the Hell. I have been, well, you know, I went to his uh, half a mil uh, barbecue. When was that? Uh, a couple, last year? Was it last year? Yeah, last year I went. And I met I met him and George and, and a bunch of other uh, podcasters that uh, buy storage units and all that good stuff. And I just love these guys. And you know what I what I love about them um, is that they care. And not only that, they bring their their um, spiritual they bring God into their podcast. I mean, they're God-fearing guys. They don't drink. I don't think they smoke. They just have a good time. They laugh a lot. It's just that you don't have to drink or smoke or all that, you know, marijuana or, you know, drugs or anything like that to have a good time. They laugh. They have a good time. But right now, Jeremy is going through this court battle with her, with his neighbor and um, I didn't, she was not at that event that he had. Um, she wasn't invited. <laughs> but anyway, it's hysterical. It's so hysterical. He, and, and the, he's so quick. He has the quickest wit. And I noticed that the other, there's another guy, Rob, who he also buys storage units and stuff. He has a quick wit. I mean, you could say you could see something or say something, and he just has a comeback. And I just, I just love quick wit, quick, quick wit, quick wit. <laughs> quick, you say you say that twenty times in a row. Quick, 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 quick wit. But it's just, <laughs> just something like this woman that is suing him or he's suing her or whatever and he says well y'all want to sit down and listen to what she says through her one tooth through her tooth <laughs> she has like one tooth so the rest of them are missing <laughs> he calls her Lynette she has a nickname for everybody is Lynette her real name is Lynette but he calls her Lynette and her ex-husband is John Cook and he calls him John Crook and then there's Russ the Sus, Don the Con. <laughs> These are people. That... I mean, it's it's really funny. It's so funny. It just. <laughs> oh my gosh, it is hysterical. If you want, if you want something that's funny, and it's very entertaining, watch What the Hails, and you might want to go back about two years. <laughs> Or at least a year or two, and watch them. I mean, they're just—it's just hysterical, hysterical. Anyway, that's all I got to say. I look forward to that every day, watching his channel, and uh, <laughs> oh, I just love it. <laughs> Thank you for the square uh, for the squares, Karen, and please send me. Come on, girls, get. Susie and guys and guys and let's make some squares for these blankets for Boggy Creek. I'm ready to get going because I can't go outside with this pollen. I'm already start stuff up from being out there earlier. But it's um yeah I, and I am going to try to work on I have I want to work on some scrappy material and make the material to make some bags out. Uh, and some other things that I'm thinking about. But anyway, that's that's going to be my next sewing project, I think. I, was all, I got a whole basket full of cut fabric right here to make bags, and I haven't done it. And it's because, you want to know why? Because when I sit here, and I could sew for a little while, 
and then my legs start to swell even though I've got one up and one down on the pedal and my feet start to swell and when they swell they start to hurt and then my legs start to hurt I'm just a mess just a mess but I do want to make some more uh, bowl cozies and um, before I was using two two pads for each one you know well I there's I got the thicker pad and I said geez I only need one I just love these but these are going to Victoria my friend from Zoom put these in the box to her she's got a bunch of kids too so I think when they have soup or warm up stuff they'll, they'll enjoy having these okay guys I am going to go take a nap I think I might have lunch then I'll take a nap and uh I will see you guys soon, I hope. I will. I will. But let's get the squares in. Let's get the squares in. Um, for those that are coming to the ooh, to the retreat, start thinking of things that you think you'd like to do. Uh, we'll have a little thing on StreamYard. And um and let's um let's get moving. Let's get these blankets made. Let's get get Boggy Creek. We've got to double up. We got to do what? 2024. We had uh, 1,090. Now we need to do 2,024. That's not that much more. We can do it. I know we can do it. You better believe we can do it. And I will see you guys soon. Take care. Bye. Keep hooking, you hookers. <laughs>